Today we are going to see about sidecar rendering. This is Sadish Kumar from SK Tech Channel. Before going to the topic, I am reiterating one time once again. Please subscribe the channel if you are not yet subscribed it. Then only whatever the video I am posting will reach you automatically. Let us into the topic. So sidecar rendering in CMS, uh, everything is split into a piece of block. So each uh, that is called as component. So rendering means we are creating a new component. New component has a certain functionality that is defined in view side or controller side or even item side as well. Okay. So you are defining a component that is called as rendering. So in that component will perform certain task uh, whatever you specify. So there are three type of rendering currently uh, psycho rendering support that is preview rendering, controller rendering and item rendering. View rendering in this rendering we will provide the view name for this rendering. Controller rendering we will provide a controller name and action name. Item rendering the same item. So this item rendering mostly probably um, no one will be using. So let us see um, the demo of V1 controller rendering. Today I am going to show you a demo about uh, renderings. There are two type of renderings used in ASP.NET BC that is view rendering and controller rendering. First I will show you demo view rendering. Um, so I am going to create a view rendering, insert a view rendering. So view rendering. Okay, I name it as sample, sample view ren. Okay. Here I only need to specify the view path. So in MBC solution, I have created a view rendering HTML just displaying the message. View rendering components. Okay. So nothing else here. So I'm just uh, including this view page in the rendering. Okay. Slash view slash home slash view and ring dot cssdml okay i include the views path in the view entry path field so i'm just uh, publishing it yeah publishing done to my items and uh, I'm adding here I'm including my rendition layout presentation layout I'm adding new rendering that is sample view rendering placeholder I have already created so I am giving the content placeholder so I'm removing the existing one so remove Save the page or the item, I'm publishing it. Now I am going to browse the okay. I think there must be some problem. Rendering dot CSS table is think one minute is one right rendering dot CSS table. Okay, the partial following is being searched. Be 
some issue in the rendering. Slash okay. Now let us see. Yeah, it's loaded. We will enter. Now I am going to show how to create controller rendering. So for that I already. Uh, MBC side I have created a controller that controller rendering I have uh, include this uh, attack code so currently um, I am creating a rendering parameter so rendering template from the rendering template uh, whatever the details I have given the rendering parameter it will be displayed in the uh, in this controller rendering view okay this is the view where, uh, I will display the title and descriptions. Okay, I have written this code. So now I'm going to create a first. I will create a rendering parameter template. So I'm going here I'm creating a new template. Let us name it as parameter rendering parameter rendering. Parameter Rendering parameter template. Okay. Okay. I am adding two field parameter title and parameter description. Okay. Publishing this rendering parameter template first. Publishing that. So now I am going to create a controller rendering. Controller rendering. So you name it as sample controller. Controller name and to specify. Okay. I think I should put here. DLL name as a name. Action name is uh, to provide a control name and action name. Action name is created as controller entry. So I'm copying here. Okay. So I need to select the parameter template. So I am selecting the parameter template here in this parameter template field. This is a shared field. So rendering parameter template selected. Okay. I am going to publish this rendering. Rendering got published. Yeah. To this item, go to the presentation details and a layout. Moving my old rendering, adding my current rendering. 
control and uh, placeholder I already created this is content placeholder so I'm saving it and publishing it Done. I'm going to browse item. See item. So rendering value I didn't give. So I am giving the rendering parameter value. So I'm going to go to my rendering. Okay. I'm giving rendering parameter title Suresh Video. this okay. okay I'm loading my page see control rendering and I will show you the debug part as well so that uh, showing the debug as well so debug and show show you uh, how the flow works okay i'm attaching the process the process okay. and we'll do a page are we loading the page Takes a little bit time. Just bear with me. Yeah, control came here. I'm giving the ten. Just This is a rendering context and loading the rendering context. This is a sample model uh, which I create a model object. So from rendering context, uh, I'm check I'm assign the param. So parameters, rendering parameters. 
assigning the value to the model check the value yeah okay giving full run This is a simple demo of controller and view rendering. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel if you are not yet subscribe it. Then only whatever the video I am posting will reach you automatically. Thank you guys. This is Sadish Kumar signing off. Thank you. Good luck. Bye bye.